Well, hello. It's August the 10th, and I've made some changes to the month, day, hour perpetual calendar program, and I wanted to show you what I've got going on. So, basically, any month, any year, select either one of them, and it will show you the calendar. Now, I'm going to show you some of the other features that the program has and to show those features I'm going to move to August and this is just some temporary data now what I've got is I have a program that will print the same label in every week so if I go to the next month if I go to the next month that item spills over from month to month to month that's a weekly repeating activity now I can have a daily repeating activity that repeats across the calendar grid. So I have two of those on this screen. And I can also have um, monthly and yearly repeating activities. So like for the 1st of January and, and Christmas Day and stuff, you can put those in one time so you don't have to keep, keep doing that over and over again. So what I have is I have a repeating type so I can have daily weekly monthly or yearly repeating and it will uh, it will calculate that for me so what this is saying is on the second of each month I want to put into the calendar that I need to transfer bank funding from one account to another and I repeat it 12 periods or for 12 months so every month of this year that date text shows up on my calendar. I also have a weekly repeating reminder. So every week during the month, at from the fourth, this is like on the Wednesday that I, sh if you noticed on the other, on the calendar, on Wednesday, every Wednesday, it's weekly repeating and it goes for 15 weeks. So this goes beyond just August. Okay this is the day that the program first uh, started working okay if I have a single activity I can just put in the date of the single activity a, a time if I like I don't have to have any repeating data and that will show up one time on the uh, on the calendar okay so if I go to September you'll see transfer banking funds. If I go to October on the second of the month is transfer bank funds. So those are the different repeating capabilities of the perpetual calendar. So you can build it to be whatever you need it to be. You see that it also transferred the uh, every Wednesday I have a have a meeting. So those are the updates on the software of course. You can resize it make it bigger, make it much smaller, whatever you would like, and you can uh, use it for whatever purpose you, you want. That's all.